What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, consider subscribing, of course. You know, helps me to grow. In this video, I'm gonna answer one of the uh, guys in the community, his question. It's uh, a question from uh, Tyson. And his question was, is judo uh, dangerous, uh, as dangerous as boxing? Short answer, no. Is there a risk? Yes, there's always a risk in any type of uh, sport where there's contact and you're being thrown to the ground on top of that. In boxing, the thing is that you can get knocked down, like if you're if you're competing, you can get knocked down and then after that, they'll do a standing eight, uh, eight count or 10 count, but you're already concussed. But then you keep going because you know you could they just you know make sure you're awake and if you say yeah yeah i'm okay i'm okay you know but you're really not okay then you go back into it and so you're already concussed and now you're getting punched in the head again so that's like terrible terrible throw for your brain if you don't have anybody that really uh a coach that can really follow you and really like hold you back you know and you keep training and maybe you know you don't understand that you should be taking breaks you don't know what the protocol is i mean that's bad so then it accumulates and after that like um, hey brain damage is not a good thing guys it's it's uh, a second to your heart it's the most important muscle in your body so your heart is number one your brain is number two you don't want to transitioning to grappling if you're if you're concussed definitely a good thing now with judo yes there is a danger but the first thing you learn in judo guys is how to break fall so that you avoid falling and hurting yourself not just your joints like your shoulders your knees and, and you know everything else but really for your head so you don't smash your head backwards so when you learn how to break fall it's really about keeping your chin tucked in right so that and you when you hit the ground with your forearm it sends that message right to your um, to your brain to contract everything else so if you contract in this position like you slap it and you contract then your head doesn't snap back so it doesn't smash into the ground also in judo it's less uh, douchebaggy. Like in, in boxing, it, it is it is kind of a douchebaggy culture in the sense that guys have a lot of egos, a lot of pride. So you know, it's kind of like um, uh, you know, you might hit them a little bit too hard by accident, and then the guy will just freaking go crazy on you and and uh, try to go knock you out. You know, like blow for blow, payback kind of thing, right? In judo, it's not it's not like that. It's uh, it's more. Uh, it's more respectful, it's more, uh, there's more humility. Like yes, of course, people go hard when, uh, you know, they're prepping for a competition or in competition, but for the most part, I mean, we, we take care of our partners, right? We're not, we're there to practice, to learn, not to like smash people to the ground and hurt them. And also like, if you get, a, you get yourself a good partner, um, usually when they throw you after that, they hold your arm back. I know it doesn't make sense now, uh, for those of you guys who don't do any judo, but if I hold your arm after I throw you and I hold your arm, it makes it so that you land on one shoulder as opposed to two. If you land on two shoulders, like that's when it's considered epon, and also like um, more chances of you getting the wind knocked out of you. And even if you have your chin like this and you fall on both shoulders, you're gonna get your wind knocked out of you. And of course, less chance of your head snapping back too. All this to say that the dangers of judo, don't worry about it, it's not as bad. Of course, I would definitely, if you're recovering from concussion and you wanna to go to judo, talk to your coach and tell them, you know, or the coach or the instructors or whatnot, and your partners, hey guys, I got concussed, can, can you, you know, like not, uh, you know, smash me into the ground? And they'll be cool with that, man. They'll be very cool with that, you know? That's my answer, I hope that was helpful. I uh, hope you get better soon, Tyson, you know, uh, brain issues. Not a good thing. Take, take, give it some time. Do judo, or another thing you can do is jujitsu, also, right? But uh, if you're really into judo, if that's all you have to work with, like that's the only thing that's available, or you could afford, or whatever, then uh, it, it's okay too. It's not, it's not that bad. The, like there's always a danger, there's always a risk, right? But uh, for the most part, like I said, it's much, much safer. All right. Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you can follow me on all my social media platforms, and you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing, guys. If you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them, and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.